<laughs> Who knows what will happen to tonight? Go back and... Yeah, we are uh, live with our first pay per view, the Mitz Match Challenge for bragging rights. Uh, I'm gonna win. Oh uh, well, we'll we'll just have to wait and see about that. See about that. I know I'm gonna win. You're gonna lose, boy. So, my winning team, if I do have a winning team, I will say I will receive a, an NXT Women's Championship match and an NXT Championship match. Ooh. That's what my winning Can't team wait. will deserve. All right, so I so, guess I gotta put I this on the Mitz Match Mitch. Challenge Arena. Let's see. And uh, we're, we're gonna start with some SmackDown tag team action. We got some new recruits who want to take on uh, the Ooses. For the SmackDown tag titles. Wait, what was the team I'm gonna again? Find it better. Let's see. Oh, the Hurt Business. Which two members of the Hurt Business? I'm guessing Shelton and Cedric? Yeah, because they're the only two I have. <laughs> well, I gave you Cedric for Ali. That is true. This is the first time we will the see the Hurt Business. And that's why I'm giving this, this, this opportunity. So, or, I mean, do you have confidence in them here tonight? Definitely, the uses are going down tonight. You know, oh man. That's what fine. Happened? I'll just keep title off. I'll just keep the title match off because we're in play now. <laughs> so, I'll I'm keep title sure match the title match off. I just gotta is... remember. Oh. No, no what are you talking, I... talking about? Just the title's on the line. Well, it's because New Day is the title's in play now. It doesn't matter. The belt will still appear. Oh. I'll, I'll go back out and go back in. Oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if it would still appear or not. Bruh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip these entrances like they never happen. <laughs> and then we are gonna go back out and go back into the snacks. Total right? Well, at least if there was a time limit, I would have remembered to put the time limit on it, unlike someone else. We won't mention that name, no. Damn, and Cedric was looking ready. He it's was. It's time to do his entrance uh, again. He was. Uh, oh, wait, I had, I had Shelton going first. And it's gonna be a long night. Listen, Open. we got on. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no, the fuck I don't. I have to leave at nine thirty, dude. Actually, I don't either. <laughs> I just kind of said that. This will probably be a two-night event. If need be, yes. Um. Oh, ooses. We'll try to get through as much as we can here tonight. Okay. Oh, make sure it's on the right arena. I almost went on without selecting the correct arena. Live at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> We're alive from the Royal Rumble. Oh. <laughs> 
Dylan fucks up again. Nope, this time I got it all correct. <laughs> Tough shit, so you're defending your belts tonight here on the pre-show of Mix Match Challenge. Oh, man. I, I don't have care what some... the tribal team... I don't care what the tribal chief says. You're gonna do what I say. The following contest is scheduled for. I too have two title matches set up. It is for the sturdy. Oh wait, the ooses. They're not waiting around. Well, damn. Sorry, he's nothing personal. We just need the tag team title. <laughs> well, Cedric taking it to one of the users. I'm unsure of which one. That's one thing we'll have to do is turn off the run-ins. <laughs> it seems like every match in 2K20 has that. Yep. So... Along with countouts, we can turn off countouts, I think. And, and, and uh, just like real life, Shelton Benjamin doesn't get an entrance. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, what a face buster by Cedric. They're fighting on the outside, and this match has not even started yet. I think the referee's going to call it off. Nice jumping flyliner there by Cedric. Yeah, I, I don't know if this what this referee will do. Oh wait. Oh, the Uso get up back in the ring. Now Cedric does. Now they're just playing a game of cat and mouse. Come on guys. Come on, what the ref from the belt already. There we oh wait. Oh, I thought we were gonna have the chance. Oh wait, the bell did sound. Okay, we are underway. Jesus. But now the count is on. Cedric, you must get these guys back in the ring. This game is wonderful. Isn't it? Absolutely the best. Kind of five here. We start the Kinda six. We start the match if they have. Okay, I got you. Oh wait, you may not have to worry about that, and you don't have to worry about a restart. Alright. At least for now. Yeah, at least for now. Oh no. What's... Which oose is this? I'm unsure of which oose is in the ring. I think it's Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy now getting tagged in. We were correct. And, uh, Jimmy off the ropes and Cedric with a nice drop kick. Someone is chanting for Austin Aries, who is not even in any of our shows. Shelton now in the ring. Shelton, who didn't even get an entrance. Why not? Why not? Very on brand. Knees, knees to the face there by uh, Jim Use. And a Samoan slam, or a Samoa slam. Samoan drop.
I think that's what you meant to say. Yeah, Samoa Joe. Samoan, sorry. Whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> whatever that damn news is. Yeah. To ask Let's you, Dylan, move. but uh, who do you got in this matchup? Ah, yes. I say, actually, you know, this is tough. Um, but at the end of the day, I never doubt the uses, so I gotta go with the uses. I, I like how we're calling them the Usos, not referring to their actual tag team name. <laughs> Cedric coming back in, but I think it's too late to gain some offense. He used oh, wait, here we go. Control. Boston Crab by Ced or by Jimmy Uso, whichever Uso this is. Will they tap? Will Cedric tap out? No, he stays in the match. Pretty sure that's Tequila Sunrise. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know these moves. <laughs> but the Usos win anyway! <laughs> well, at least that was a fast match. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did, We're he coming up next? He just tagged in Jay for the poop. That's a very on brand Here too. Are your <laughs> anyway. Up next, we got the NXT tag, or not NXT tag, NXT, N or, yeah, Cruiserweight belt on the line. Rey Mysterio getting his rematch. Against Finn Balor. Yes. And that is, what? There we go. All right, let me go in here to rules. Um, that's fine. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no count out. There we go. Okay. Rey Mysterio first, then Finn Balor. Should I go with his Prince attire for this one? His uh, demon. Should we break it out? Uh, Prince attire. Okay, you just want his regular one then? Yeah, this is mixed match challenge. He ain't bringing his A game. All right. Uh, here we go. I'm saying uh, Finn Balor retains. Okay, that's a really good pick at this point. Because Rey Mysterio defended it once in, and retained it and then lost it his next defense. So this is Finn Balor's first defense since winning. Contest is scheduled for well, no, is this the second? This is his first, I believe. You know your brand well. I believe it's his first. Here comes Rey Mysterio, nonetheless. The challenger this time around, not the champion. He will do anything to reclaim his belt on the NXT brand. Even eventually, maybe if he doesn't win here tonight, maybe he can climb up the ranks in a different belt. Who knows? Man, you can move on from the Cruiserweight division. 
not impossible. Yes, that's true. Did you see Cedric Alexander at this point? Uh, with Shelton as tag team champions on Raw. What? In real life. Oh, that, oh, okay, I was about to say. You get those two. Well, you, 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 we're, we're talking about moving on from the cruiserweight belt. No, I'm just throwing a reference out there. And here comes the Prince Finn Balor holding his gold. Well, wow. his invisible gold. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. Yes. <laughs> oh, he actually. Where did he? Um... Uh, Drew Gul Gulak has it in play. Ah, uh, okay. Then Balor getting the crowd into this fight with his little movements. He is for the LGBT community, as you can see. Is that rainbow ass? <laughs> I still haven't thought of an NXT pay-per-view for next month yet. I gotta think of a name. Meanwhile, I'm easy. Money in the bank coming up. Yeah, you're doing money in the bank. Because we removed Money in the Bank to do this pay-per-view. So we will bring Money in the Bank next month. And after that, is it one more before SummerSlam? After that? Um, no. I think there's a few. Hmm. I'll have to look at the calendar and let you know. Ben, we go. Ben Balor confident for this contest. He's always confident. He's always... But you have to be confident when defending your belt. It is true, but Rey Mysterio is no pushover. That is true. Here we go to the spell sounds and we are underway. Rey Mysterio is trying to get the advan early advantage and does with the knee to the spine. Wait a minute now. Mysterio. Headlock. But wait, Finn Balor. Throws Mysterio into the ropes and a drop kick. By Finn, an early cover here. Count out before, er, kick out before the count of one. NXT Cruiserweight action, you can only see this on NXT. Going brand. Yes. Might say most of uh, my roster is Cruiserweights, but that's okay. Skinny Flat Man for WWE Champion. <laughs> but hey, I needed the Cruiserweights. It's okay, this new age doesn't take steroids, naturally gained muscle. Oh, Mysterio with a nice move on the outside, and now remember, there are no countouts. We're not having that bullshit again. Yeah. We can actually turn off the countouts for once in our lives. Nice baseball slide through the middle rope there. Now Finn Balor thrown into the steps. Mysterio having so far a pretty easy day. 
Yeah, he's looking to regain that championship. I think Finn Balor underlooked Mysterio here a little bit. That's what I was saying. You don't uh, underestimate the veteran poise of Rey Mysterio. That's a, that's what people. Uh, that's what gets uh, these youngins in trouble the most. They just underestimate Mysterio because he's been in the business for 20 years now, but it's all experience. That is true. I don't think Grand Mysterio is even Whoa, taking a hit in this matchup. He took a little bit of damage. Yeah, but he's still fine. He's in the ring. Just waiting for Finn Balor to get up. Or never mind. Now, now Finn Vince Balor. Count. Oh, a chop on the... Oh, no. They're going over the barricade here. Wait, now... Nope, Mysterio jumped back over before Finn could figure it out. And a snap suplex by Ray. And no, they're just gonna spend the rest of this matchup on the outside. One of them has to go in there for the pin. Well, at least we know they can't be counted out. Right. Ooh, and into the steps. Goes Finn Balor. Finn Balor needs a major comeback to even have a chance in this. Oh wait! Oh, what a DDT there by Finn. Could be the start of a comeback. Mounting some offense now is Finn Balor. And these two are just trying to maim each other on the outside. Hopefully, get back in the ring soon. Yes. Oh, well, here we go. Speaking of getting back in the ring, they are both in the ring. Mysterio now taking it. Oh, wait. Here we go, Mysterio. Making the area code 2619. Is he going to go for that cross splash? He's going to go for the cover. One, two, and no, a kick out of two by Finn Balor. Well, don't have the rest of Balor either. First step for Universal Champion. Yes, and had to get in more strict and never lost the title. Let's, let's be fair about that. He never lost the title. He can show up to SmackDown and face uh, Roman Reigns if he wants to. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought he was going to make another area code call, but I guess not. Go for the frog. Oh, okay, run up and wait. Finn Balor tips up. And now the referee is out. Oh, the referee right back up. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Oh, Mysterio to the outside, but gets right back in the, to the ring. And now, Mysterio, nice DDT. Mysterio has to look for the finishing move here. You would think soon. Well, he could take his time and just decimate his opponent. I know I would. Send a message to the rest of the crew vision. Oh, what a hurricane runner. And uh, oh, I thought he was going to get some cover with that move, but he didn't. Mysterio. Totally on top in this match right now. Oh wait, here he goes again! Look at him make the call! 619! And he's gonna go for the cover again. 
One, two, no, kick out of two. He's got to send it with the frog splash. I don't know why he's not going for that. Oh, wait, he is. Here he goes. He's going to the top. Oh, he's going for Finn to get up, though. Is he going for the West Coast pop? He might be. He is! West Coast pop! One, two, and that. No! No! Valor kicked out a two and a half. My God. Oh wait, Mysterio! Into the front splash! One! Two! That wins in the title! What an amazing contest. That was amazing indeed. Hey Mysterio, once again, NXT Cruiserweight Champion. How do you feel about that? You know what, he deserves it just as much as Finn Balor deserves it. The top two cruiserweights in my opinion. See what happens on NXT, but Christian wants one more match against Daniel Bryan to see who really is the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Yes, and we're going to find that out right now. As we get set to do that match. I'd also like to remind everyone, uh, last we saw them, it was at the Super Smackdown show, Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. And midway through the match, The Fiend took away Braun Strowman. It was just down to Daniel Bryan and Christian. And Christian, being confused, didn't see the Daniel Bryan knee connect with him. And that's how Daniel got his opportunity. Now it's 1v1. No outside interference. We'll see who wins and who will be the number one contender to Roman Reigns' WWE title. Yes, Daniel Bryan essentially defending his chance for a championship here in this matchup. Here we go. Oh, I guess I gotta pick a winner. Um, You know what? I see Daniel Bryan keeping his spot as number one contender. I don't doubt Christian for once again, but yes, I think Daniel's going to win too. Both men have a lot of heart. Christian trying to defend uh, his best friend's honor, trying to become number one contender. The following contest is set to be Daniel Bryan. Washington, yeah. weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Yes, indeed. And might we add, is anything going to come up at that Fiend and Braun Strowman situation? What's the what's the updated status on that? Uh, I don't know. I I tried to look at the Fiend and Braun Strowman after we went off the air, and I. Couldn't really find them. Interesting. Do you think they went to the white compound? Who knows? I I don't know what the fiend wants with Braun Strowman. Ah, uh, it's tough to tell at this point. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to talk better now. I had to clear my nose a little bit. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here comes Christian. It's Christian. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, or Canada. Or Christian Cage, as we now know him. Pounds, He's a man with a plan. Now that's, that's Steve Brian Kendrick. Are you sure? Yes. Well, I mean, I gotta hand it to Christian. He somehow convinced Daniel Bryan to get an opportunity here tonight. You know, Daniel Bryan, when he was at this point with the new Daniel Bryan, he would not turn down a challenge. 
That is correct. Fight, but that's what he loves to do. He loves to fight. I mean, I know that out of everyone in this arena, but don't you think it's kind of stupid, though, too? Because if you get pinned, you lose your opportunity. Yes. But I guess that's something that Daniel Bryan will learn here tonight. And it's all up to Daniel Bryan to win this contest. Yes, no outside no fans. No confusion, no nothing. Christian wanted this just to be one on one. We'll see where that takes him. And we have one more match yet to come on the pre show. We might have to make this a two party event. I would not mind. <laughs> I would not mind that either at this point, because we're shooting at 8 o'clock in the time right now. We live in different time zones, this thing is going to come by any minute now for me. So, why don't we do this? After this match, we'll, we'll call it, we do want to do the full pre-show and then call it. Yeah, the full pre-show and then we'll, you know, yeah, okay, we'll do the full pre-show and then call it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do the full free show. So we'll do the we'll do the one match we have left after this, and then tomorrow, sometime after I get off work and Dark Star is free here, we will uh, do the actual pay per view, the Dragon Rights portion of it. I believe I'm gonna win. You keep dreaming, sir. Oh wow, Christian with the disrespect to slapping Daniel Bryan. I mean, Christian's been all in control of this match with a swing and neck breaker there. Christian. Kick to the midsection. Oh, and then a four. That has him up in a flapjack. Oh, and then Daniel Bryan just tips up and says, I ain't selling your moves. I was going to say something else, but... Hell to the mouth. <laughs> I ain't selling your shit. <laughs> Anyway, Christian Angle will cover here one and a kick out at one by a dude. By a Daniel Bryan. He thinks a neat Gus going to finish off Daniel Bryan. Christian's is crazier than he thought. He's the AEW. That's career suicide. <laughs> Oh, uh, in other news, and some actual real life news here, just so everybody in the U.S. is aware. Tomorrow, the WWE Network shifts over to Peacock. That event uh, will be streamed on the WWE Network and Peacock. Yes, also, that is true. Uh, so Fastlane will be available to you guys. On the network and on Peacock. Are they going to shut down the network, maybe? Uh, <laughs> Get this penny. I believe they said April 13th? A month? And they're shutting down the they network? Release the, like the app. Just the app itself. I think the app would just be dead to be news. Yeah, it'll it'll turn back to the way it used to be. Which means everyone's going to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so Peacock will be the new home. I believe it's the it's the 13th of April. Peacock will become the full new home of the network. Right, it's done. 
Yes. What was it? Like, yeah. almost 10 years? Something like Maybe that. Maybe a little more than that. Oh no. Anyway. We're losing total track of this match. Which is being dominated Good. by Christian anyway. Christian might get his chance. We might have been doubting Christian. Yes, we might have been. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow, too, so I don't know. We, we might have to do the actual stuff on Friday. Because my internet does not hold well, that, that rain, rain that well. Well, you're getting that rain tomorrow. I'm getting this rain today. Uh, so, I mean, we might have to move it to Friday. North, Miss North Mississippi with a high chance of severe weather. So, are, are, are you free for Friday if we were to have to do that? Yeah. I'll get my homework done and we can make it Friday. Alright, just let me know. If not, then we can just do the actual stuff next Wednesday, I would guess. Christian doing the gimmick where he did in TNA where he just threw himself onto the table. <laughs> and Daniel Bryan making a little bit of a comeback here. Yeah, but you can end this match in the ring. Oh, they're going to. Is being stupid. Oh! A knee bar. Oh, we got to the blocking. ropes. Christian got to the rope. That was a heel, my boy. Oh, that was a heel. Okay, I remember that. Okay, that's good. I don't even think Christian hit the ropes. <laughs> now looking at that. But okay. <laughs> Did Christian pay off the referee? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him to get an opportunity at the WWE title. It's the only title that Christian hasn't held yet. Oh wait, here we go! I'm prettier! Oh kill switch. Which one do you prefer? I'm prettier. I'm prettier. That's what I prefer to be prettier. I'm prettier basically out of nowhere too. Oh! Christian made his comeback. Might be seeing another I'm prettier. And oh, an elbow drop on the Daniel Bryan. Are we going to see it? He's lining it up. Here we go! I'm prettier! This time Daniel Bryan's busted open! One! Two! No! Kick out of two! What? Fuck your hope. Well, here we go with Daniel Bryan stretch. kicks out. Daniel Bryan gets out of that. Oh man, Daniel Bryan leaving it all on the line here tonight. Oh, here we go with those vicious stomps. Aaron Bryan's not losing his opportunity to be crowned WWE Champion again. Oh! You know what he would say, right, if that was to happen. He'd say, that's fickle. <laughs> this crowd tonight is back to go. Here we go in an uppercut by Daniel Bryan. Wait a minute. Here we go, Christian with an elbow to the top of the head. Now into a cover. 
One, two. Okay, that was a weird ending, but okay. Christian's the new number one contender. An elbow huh? to the top of the head, and that ends it. <laughs> okay, what an ending. Oh no. So Christian gave Dana Bryan another concussion. Here is your winner, <laughs> Christian! You might have to retire here, folks. Yeah, after that performance, uh, what a way to go out if that was the case. <laughs> Stupid, though. Yeah, that would be. Anyway. Looks like Christian will finally get his opportunity. It'll be him and Roman at Money in the Bank. Here we go. Main event time for the pre-show. And part so one let's of the C-Vans. Let's see. If I'm looking at my papers correctly, it's uh, Adam Colbebe. Uh, versus, uh, you got a black smudge on here. Tommaso Who's the champion? Ah, uh, I see why it's blacked out then. Yeah, you know, he's, he's the black heart. What does Shotzi think about that? Oh, I don't know. Why is, is she considering herself a Blackheart too? Her name is Shotzi Blackheart. Oh. Do you even watch your know. real life product? Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't watch NXT. What? The f <laughs> so fake. I should probably start watching NXT now. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. Moving on. We got the NXT Championship on the line. Brendan, who do you got winning? Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Um. Um, I, I like Adam Cole's chances, but I'd like to see Tommaso Ciampa be NXT champion. Okay, the well, we'll find out. The following is scheduled for one fall. And is for the NXT Championship. No one will survive. Oh. Oh, <laughs> There's no escape. No, no one will survive. Random shout out for a name that just got on uh, online on Xbox. Look at a hippo. Um, just got online on my Xbox. Random shout out. I don't know where that came from. Anyway. Mm. It was kind of quiet, so I just figured I'd give a random shout out. That was the first name that popped up. I mean, it's it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Also, also, guys, don't forget to go check out Nova Darkstarter. Uh, has a place we're going on right now of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon with Rescue Team DX. That is correct. Let me tell you. So be going good. So be sure to go give him uh, a subscribe and uh, follow on Twitch at, what is it, Nova Dark Star? Nova underscore Dark Star, right? 
I believe that is it, yeah. Okay. There you go. So go subscribe to him and give him a follow on Twitch. He streams, is it Saturdays and Sundays? I try to do Saturdays, but yeah, I, I definitely do Sundays. Okay, he tries to do Saturdays, but he definitely does Sundays. And then, of course, Wednesday, everybody knows he's here with me doing this. I, myself, try to stream as much as possible. Hasn't been going well, but... <laughs> I try. We're doing the best with what we got. Yeah, we are. We are truly doing the best with what we got. I have to bring out a new Smash Bros. stream eventually. I haven't done one in a while. Eventually. Yeah, maybe one day where you'll f where you will be free and that will do one. We'll do one. Anyways, already in the ring, Adam Obebe, reigning defending NXT champion. Yes, this is our first actual champion that has like actual brought the championship out with with him. Just so we're putting it out. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! There we go, getting the introduction for Tommaso Ciampa. And introducing the champion. Place is going to explore the star power and the strength of the pre show event. At 210. There it is, Adam Cole holding up the belt, possibly for the last time. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, I wish to know if the champion would win. Well, that's your pick to win. Here we go, referee holding up the belt for not his last time. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's basically paid to. Uh, Count pins, count submissions, get knocked down, and hold up title belts. Speaking of that, did I even do that for this match? I can't even remember. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't look at me. Well, at least we know it's going smoothly so far. That's all that matters. <laughs> That is true. And, oh, Germans! Oh, wait, he's got the hand still clasped. Germans. Also, Champa. Look at Germans. Oh! And three of them. He did three Germans. Three German friends? I mean, they could be friends, I don't know. I don't know if he gives them names. That'd be kind of weird if he does. <laughs> the guy Deutschland. I don't know the German word for French. Apparently, Dark Star learning a little bit of German. <laughs> yep, I only know one, two, three, and what they call Germany. <laughs> <laughs> So, apparently there's a board game out. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's called Silent Hitler. Oh, Secret Hitler. Oh, Secret Hitler, that's right. I have not heard of it before. Well, I've watched uh, some people play it this, like online and it looks like a fun game. Definitely more than one person in here. So much fun when we play as Hitler. I mean. <laughs> yes, but the problem is, you have to act like so innocent, so hard. Because otherwise, it's just going to turn 
He constantly got his dictator stick. Oh, that's true. Act it all nice and stuff, promised uh, the German people great things, and then they found out that they, that Hitler said fuck the Jews. And killed a lot of them. Yeah. And shit changed, and they're censoring everything Nazi related. Uh, nice I suplex see. there by Adam Cole, baby. I'm pretty sure these two have uh, faced in a hardcore match before, and it was amazing. Was it that, or was it Alistair and Cole? Either way, I enjoyed that match. Yes. That was one NXT match that I did watch. <laughs> At least you watch uh, 205 Live, right? Yes, I'm sure. I do watch 205 Live. Good. Can you bring me up to speed on Everrise and Bollywood Boys? I uh, didn't watch this week after so yeah. Apparently they're in the alliance. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have and to I'm uh, watch this week's episode, maybe after this. And Monsor teaming up with the Jobber Cowboy. Oh, nice reversal by Adam Cole. Not Cameron Grimes, but I was about to say Cameron Grimes. <laughs> he, what? He slimmed all the way down. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, joking. Apparently, it's another Cowboy pulled in 205 Live. I don't know his name. Or do I care to learn it? Hey, that was an NXT star. I know Cameron Grimes. Oh, yeah, because he was uh, Trevor Lee in Impact. I don't watch Impact, so... Well, he was a former X Division champion, and they're kind of ruining the him only... on NXT. Okay, there, there, was, there was a time where I did watch Impact. And L.A. Knight, who I know is making his... Uh, debut is it tonight? Today's Wednesday, right? Yes. Uh, but yes, uh, making his debut tonight on NXT. That's uh, Eli Drake. Oh yeah, I knew about that. L A Knight. Yeah. Don't, oh god! Please bring back the dummy. <laughs> dummy. Yeah. Yeah. I love that dude. Especially in NWA power as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Isaiah Swear Scott, is he still around? I don't know. There was a time where I watched him and see for a little bit. Uh, he, he is. Uh, he's part of the Cruiserweight division, uh, somewhat. And he is in the North American bracket. And he turned heel. Interesting. Against uh, Leon Ruff. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that little guy, the guy that defeated Johnny Gargano not once but twice. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Ruff. Yeah, it's almost like yeah. they're trying to parody someone. Leo Rush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought at the time. I'm like, is that Leo Rush with just Leo Ruff as his name? Like, what? <laughs> when did he lose all of his muscle mass and became a fucking midget? <laughs> Yeah. But no, I found out Leo Rush is actually on Impact, is it? Probably, because he, he, he got get stomped out of NXT because he was disrespectful on the main game. I mean, that sounds about correct, because I thought I saw him on one of Impact's match plays. I don't get why they fire that man. I thought he turned everything around and had no attitudes backstage. That's what I thought, but... I guess when you have Finn, in control. I guess if you're Finn Balor in NXT, you just want to take out the trash. I don't know. I know, uh, the last thing I knew... ...was Adam Cole broke up the NXT arena. That is true. 
Who knows and what Bobby O'Reilly is now, that. and now, and now O'Reilly is coming after Cole. I what Bobby Fish thinks of all this. I don't know. I wonder what Roddy Strong is going to do now. Hey, get shit canned because they got nothing to do with it. Yeah, I mean, but he was doing so good with the Undisputed Era, too. How do you break up your team after winning it? Oh, okay, bro. Four straight war games, I'd probably get pissed off, too. <laughs> I'd probably get tired of them every once in a while after all that. Very Here we go. Panama. Uh, wait, that wasn't the Panama song. Was what was that? I, I don't remember how he does his move. But anyway, Adam Cole retains. Adam Cole. No, I think that's called last shot. Oh, that's the last shot. Okay. I know. I know there is the Panama Sunrise, and then there was another move. Here I wasn't sure which one was it. Yeah, the last shot is the uh, knee to the back of the head, and I guess the Panama Sunrise is that uh, uh, Canadian destroyer from the middle rope. Oh, okay. Well, that does it for the pre-show portion. We will bring you the main portion of the pay-per-view, most likely Friday, if not next Wednesday. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching.